We need scissors for the tailor. Can you guys, like, not walk over my property, huh? Ogres? Who taught you guys some manners, huh? Oh, you walking around big with those big axes? Oh, we could do whatever we want. We want big axes. You get out of my portals, all right? You don't get to use them. You gotta pay the fee, baby. And what is going on, everybody? Welcome to Community Inc. I'm your host, the Birdman known as Falcon. This right here is the latest Colony Sim title that's dropping. As a matter of fact, it literally just dropped into my inbox today. I already took it out for a spin with the tutorial and I really enjoyed it, so I'm here to show it off to you. This is actually being published by Tiny Build, which might sound familiar if you are familiar with Hello Neighbor, Party Hard, um, Punch Club as well. So I generally enjoy a lot of the games they publish and this right here thus far seems to be really promising. It reminds me a lot of Stoneheart. A little bit of RimWorld, you know, just basic colony simulation games out there. If you guys enjoyed this and want to see some more on the channel, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up in the video and we shall do so. Right now, I'm planning on one video, but again, I will cover more if you guys enjoy this. Let's get to work over here. First and foremost, we have to kind of name our village here. And since we're working with a bunch of trees, a bunch of lumber, I think it only makes sense to me to go with... What's Will, baby? And what's my name? Well, my name is actually Falcon Old 69 and that's about it. Now, we do have two options here. We have normal mode and we have peaceful mode. In peaceful mode, nothing's going to endanger you, really. Normal mode, we get all the events, all the different races, all the um, challenges available. So we're going to be doing that one. Vegetation seems pretty fine. Minerals is maybe raises up a bit more. I would like more animals for hunting purposes, but it could also be a danger to you as well. But I'll, I'll do high animals and then challenges at normal seems pretty good. Um, once the game further develops, we'll have more lands to start off with. Right now, all we have is a green land, so we'll be doing that one. And the only investment I have to start off with is going to be $600 reduced. So, let's get into it. Hello, boss. You were allocated to take care of a new community for our company. You have 30 days to complete all objectives for our company. Check. Then you pause the game. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Make your workers happy, or they can do bad things to the community. There will be several contracts that will come from other creatures. Choose wisely. That's what I mentioned about other races out there that you'll be doing some interacting with. You'll be setting up contracts. Um, portals will be used to transport new links and can also be used by other races for trading and fighting. Now let's get to work. Oh, you can just continue after 30 days. It's up to you to decide. So even though it feels like you're being limited to 30 days, you can obviously continue, which is fine. I don't like games that rush me at stuff, and this one isn't really rushing you, but... I guess if you want to meet the objectives, you could, you know, try to aim for 30 days, but, you know, not from me. I like to have an entire open world thing where I just play for as long as possible here. So, this is not my first time playing. I actually did the tutorial already game, so I appreciate it, but thank you. So, let me give you a small rundown. There's a bunch of things over here on the screen that might confuse you when you first start off. So, um, as you will see, we have nobody here to <laughs> do anything for us. We can't work. I'm like a god without any minions, so we do need a couple of lings, as the game calls them. So we shall hire them by doing that right there. That's going to be our first one. You, my friend, do you have a name? You are Rocky Gark. Information. Can I change your name as well? Oh, you can. Hey, guys, if you guys enjoy as well to see some more, I could probably do a couple of renames as well from you guys in the comments. So let me know if that's something that interests you guys as well. Anyway, for now, you're going to be Rocky Gark, and you are going to be my, my lumberjack right here. Now, the game does start you off with a couple of items, so if I come down to... Where is that going to be at? Where is that at? Items to interact. This will tell you what items you start off with, so you have enough to make a, somebody to guard your village. Treasure, you have some food to start some farms as well. A couple of health potions as well. We have workers bench, which we needed to create planks and all sorts of other upgraded stuff down the line. And crafted goods, which will make it so you actually are able to, you know, make a... A farmer, make a, a stonesmith, etc., etc. So it kind of works out like Stoneheart a lot in that way. So we have a, um, a lumberjack here that's not really working. So you, my friend, I want you to come over here, bring that tree down, bring this one down, and this one too, and we'll talk to you afterwards. For now, let's actually go ahead and hire another person. Now we have 600 gold to start off with, so each one is costing me 50, so we can't necessarily go too crazy with this just yet. You. Thunder Luigi? Are you gonna like Thunder Luigi? Oh my god, he's a Thunder Luigi! You're missing an eye. As a matter, hold up, hold up. I'm sorry to say. You have to complete the name Luigi, I think. Oh, I can't do a space? Ah, uh, fine, whatever. Thunder Luigi, that's the right one. Okay, Thunder Luigi, you are gonna be my... my farmer. 
So let's come over here and do farmer, which requires a hoe. We got all the hoes in the world, my man. Thunder Luigi, you're a farmer, I said. Okay, good. Now we obviously need you to start working on a plantation. Let's start off over here with the old cabbage field. And I guess we'll probably have my... I'm not sure where I want my farm. I guess somewhere down here sounds fine to me. Not too far from the carriage because this is where we collect all the stuff until we actually get a storehouse ready. This will be where we drop everything off meanwhile. So I don't want to have too long a travel so I'll place that over here. I will also do one for the old carrots. And let's do another one for the corn. Oh, Rock, you're in the way! Fine, we'll put the corn over... I said we'll put the corn here. And finally, we will also do pumpkin. Hey, everybody loves pumpkins, right? There you go. So that's going to be designated to you right there, Thunder Luigi. Oh, look at that. We have our first race over here hanging out. How you doing, buddy? Who are you supposed to be? Are you like the ogre tribe? Taking out a portal, huh? Okay, so these will be... There's like at least eight different races in the game. What's cool about this, you could set up trades with them. You could actually do treaties for peace. You could do trade routes. You could actually go into war with them as well. If you favor one race too much, the opposite race might not like you too much as well. So it's kind of up to you to kind of figure out who you're going to be cool with and who you're not going to be cool with. You can actually check that out over here in the Diplomacy. So this will be all the different races available. We have the Blue Fox, we have the Sharp Eagle, Stone Golem, the Orcons, the Dark Panther, we have the Magic Oak, the Dragonites as well, and the Mush Face. <laughs> it's quite a name right there. Oh! Speaking of which, we have a contract from the Blue Fox. Hey, we were building some houses and we discovered that we have not enough tools. It would be nice to have some. We can pay for that, what do you say? So in order to complete this one, I have to do it in 10 hours, roughly. I'll get $100 and I'll get plus 5 relation with the Blue Fox. They require 3 axes, 3 pickaxes, and 3 hoes, which... I don't think I have, so I would have to make them right now. So I will try to do that, I will accept it. What happens if you don't get it done in time? I got no idea. <laughs> I think the blue foxes might get mad at us, though. So let's see if we can actually get that to happen. Let me hire some more people, because we're going to need that. Let me also go into my items, because I want to set down the workbench, which might be required for these hoes and these... I mean, like, the tool item to hoe, not literally, you know, prostitutes out there. That'd be kind of weird. Place that over here for now. And my random builder should get to work on that. Now my... my lumberjack. I need you to continue bringing down some of these trees if you don't mind. So just work on all these here. We do need a random builder as well to pick up the stuff as well. So let me get another hire, obviously. We have two builders at the moment. Now for the workbench, we probably need to set up... What is this, the bug fire? No, I, I don't want to set it on fire. No, that's <laughs> no good. Let's see if we actually set up, a, set up a crafting thing here. So now that we have that, we could probably start working, hopefully, on the items that our friend was asking for here. So he wanted three hoes. That requires wood plates and a stone brick, which I don't think we have just yet. So wood plate would be here. Let's see about... How many do we need? The hoe requires one, but we need three hoes, right? Oh, so that's gonna be like maybe nine wood plates, I think. They should be working on it now. Some One of my builders should start working on that if I'm right. Well, what's happening here? You guys happy about stuff? There you go. He's working on the wood plates now. Excellent. So, one build will work on that. The other guy will keep chopping down trees if I'm right. Or is that the lumberjack doing that? Oh, the lumberjack works on making the wood plates. Ah. That's fine. That's all right. So, now that that's done with here, let's come over and see about... We need to get some stones as well. So, let me hire another dude. This dude is going to be Sid Karai. And you're going to be my miner. So you get a mine, and you get to start working on these rocks over here. Excuse me. Not new buildings. I'm looking for forage collecting. There you go. So bring this rock down. Bring this rock down. It's better. I could also zoom out in case you're wondering. This is how big the world is. I'm just kind of like trying to focus on getting some objectives done. But as you can see, the world is pretty big. The world is a vampire. It's not really a vampire. Not here, I don't think. I don't think there's a vampire race, but as you can see, pretty cool stuff. There's a bunch of portals over the place, too. There's also enemies that will attack us, thieves that will set stuff on fire. But we haven't seen that just yet, nor do I want to see it just yet. But in, co in case that actually does happen, we do need a, a guard. So we might want to just hire somebody randomly to be a guard. So you are going to be my guard. We have one wooden sword, so you walk around and you keep this peace, okay? Make sure that we're safe and sound. 
My planter's doing his thing over here. Great. And we have you doing your thing over here. Trees have been brought down, so we might want to bring down a few more. As a matter of fact, just go through all of that if you can. So let's see what's available to us now. I don't think we'll get this contract done in time, to be honest with you, but let's see. Um, should be able to go to my resources somewhere around here. I'm still getting used to the UI, so I'm not too familiar with it just yet. Crafted goods. Okay, wooden plates, we have eight, but we mentioned we need at least nine. Yeah, we did. So, crafting... That was only for the hoe, mind you. He also wanted an axe, which requires... Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Three of all those. I don't see that happening anytime soon, my friend. Let's get 20 of them for now. And we're gonna need some stone bricks, too. We still don't have any stones? Yeah, we do. There we go. It was that drunken tree. Look at this guy. Look at this tree. He's just completely drunk out of his mind. Oh, the little blue fox after him, too. It's so goddamn adorable. So adorable. All right, continue building, minions. So let's see. I don't think we'll get that contract done in time. As a matter of fact, I might even be done already, too. We got five. <laughs> yeah, that won't get done in time. Now, at least I'll figure out what happens if you don't get something done in time, though. What is this over here? Pile of clay. Here's my guard just hanging out. Are you keeping the peace over here? Go check it out over here. Go check out Mushface. Hey, Mushface, how you doing? I think you can attack them straight up, but if you do that, it'll obviously piss off the Mush people and they'll want to go into war with you, which is something we don't want to do just yet. Alrighty. So, how's the farming come along? Pretty good, I would say. Let's see about making a couple more plantations, too. Oh, we don't have the grapes required for that. We could do wheat, though. Okay, so we'll do wheat over here. Wheat's normally pretty good, you know. We have also cotton. Okay. Have a cotton farm over here. Just a variety of a bunch of stuff being grown. Should probably get another farmer, too. How much money do we have? 300? Should probably do that. I want to get another extra... Pickaxe, dude, if we can. <laughs> Otherwise known as miners. Boy, we don't have any more. Aha. Uh -huh. So we have to kind of build ourselves now. Herbalist for the shovels. We need scissors for the tailor. Can you guys, like, not walk over my property? Huh? Ogres? Who taught you guys some manners, huh? Oh, you walking around big with those big axes? Oh, we could do whatever we want. We want big axes. You get out of my portals, all right? You don't get to use them. You gotta pay the fee, baby. There's actually no fee yet, to my understanding. Okay. So let's see if we could find at least build one. I would be happy at least building one of those, um... Axes, I suppose. The wood plates are still being worked on. So there's one axe. Two axes, three axes. <laughs> I'll just get them ready at the moment, but we're not getting this thing done in time. Let's see. He wanted three pickaxes, three hoes as well. So, let's go back to the old crafting. And we'll do... I just want to have it queued up. I know I can't make it just yet. Yeah, I guess it wants me to actually have the items first. So let's just add more wood plates. More stone bricks as well. Oh my god, who is this crystal guy? Yo! Yo, Rockman! I wonder if we could, like, you know, bring him down and use his bricks to create our our tools. Oh, he's here for a contract, actually. Hello, friend. We are in need of surplus to buy some stuff. We have a lot of raw stone to spare. What do you say? So for four, you're selling me 40 stones? Oh, wow. For only 40 bucks? That's actually not bad. Yeah, I actually do need stone right now. Okay, and we actually got a... a a boost with them too. Now our fire, in order to keep that running, we also need to actually have wood plates for that. So that worked out fine. Uh, my friend, I, I know you're made out of stone and everything, but you're you're putting out my fire. Okay? Just just go away. You're you're putting out my fire here, dude. I need that to keep warm at night. How's the production coming along over here, my friend? Everything good? We should have enough stone now that we got that trade happening. Okay. Let me see <laughs> how far we are to this. Probably not too far, but... Um, we have four hammers, oddly enough. We have three axes, actually. Hey, this actually isn't too impossible. Let me see, hold up. We needed three hoes as well, right? Yeah, we did. Three hoes and... Let me see here. Two hours and 12 minutes, three pickaxes, three axes. Okay, so we actually have the axes available now. You just need pickaxes and hoes which are being queued up. And there you go. Yeah, yeah, keep working on that. Oh, Dragonite! How you doing, buddy? Keeping the peace over here? Bilbo... <laughs> Bilbo Strife. That's good. 
You're keeping a piece over there, right? Good. Now, we could speed up time as well if we want to. Which we are. Come on, I really would like to get those done in time. I'm not sure if we have. We already made one hoe, at least. Do I need all this extra wood to create those? Because if I don't... Let me just go ahead and put these up in the production queue. Now, the problem is my lumberjack might be tired of getting some rest. No, I don't think we have enough tools is the problem. See, they're resting here at the moment because they have to rest as well. Which is right about the time my contract should be coming. Done. Stone Golem, I thought we accepted this already. Oh, we have to come to the contracts and verify it. Gotcha. There it is. Thank you for finishing our contract. No problem, buddy. Declare war, send a gift. For now, we shall go ahead and just cancel. Oh, diplomacy. Hey, we did not like your action. Don't trade with them. We don't like them. And that's what I mentioned about certain races not being friendly. So if you favor one of them, the other one's going to be upset. As you can see here, the magic oak, the drunken oak dude. Didn't like that trade. Well, too bad. Deal with it, my friend. So, we got the stone now. The problem is I don't think we have enough for everything. Let me speed up time here. I really doubt we'll get this contract done in time. No. Not at this rate. I wouldn't be surprised if we're actually lacking some other required items for it. So, for instance, I could come over here and start bringing this down. Some more stone over here, too. There's a bunch of wood over here to gather as well. Are we completely packed here? Man, our cart is looking really, really filled up right now. Now, if I do a building... I think that would require way too much resources, which we don't have. Let's see, we have new buildings here, right? So we could do shops, fish dock, road, house... Warehouse. Yeah, it requires 8 stone bricks, 25 wooden plates, fiber plants, yeah. That's a bit too much to ask for at the moment. We could do probably this, the animal breed. Oh, we have to do the research first. Okay, let's actually come into the research and... Oh, we don't have enough money. Oh, I'm sorry, Blue Fox. Yeah, I know, it did re it did decrease it, so they weren't happy about us not completing the contract even though we accepted it. Yeah, I figured as much. All right, Blue Fox, well, I'm sorry, dude. I just barely started my colony. I'm getting used to everything that's happening here, okay? Animal breed's only 100. Let's get that one unlocked. Everybody's asleep here. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I will try to get you some houses tomorrow because now that we failed that contract, I can start focusing on making a house for you guys. As a matter of fact, how much is that going to cost me? Let's see, new buildings. Mm, we need stone bricks still for the cows and the pigs and the deal with chickens here. And for the house, we need stone bricks. So yeah, we definitely do have to set up a couple of more of these. Now, what's cool is that I'm pretty sure I should be able to... I should be able to, like, place down another one of these benches here. So I can at least have two people working on it at the moment. We are going to need some more money, but that's one way to actually increase our production right here. We have to always wait for these guys to wake up. Cool. Well... I believe we're out of time for this video, guys. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little rundown of the game. As you can see, really fun. I actually really do enjoy it quite a bit. I'm still learning it, as you probably are fully aware of. But if you want to see some more, definitely let me know, and we shall come back and cover a bit more of it down the line. But it does seem to have a pretty good promise thus far. The game actually runs pretty amazing, too. I have everything maxed out. Looks pretty enough, and consistent frame rate and everything, so it's all pretty good. They're up and running again? There you go. There you go. Get to work. I'll try to get you guys a house pretty soon. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up if you want to see some more. I will catch you next time.